Welcome to the SkyTracker Pro instructional video. We will be demonstrating how to set up the mount. The SkyTracker Pro should already be partially charged. If you wish to charge the mount, it can be charged through a micro USB port found on the left side of the mount. You can charge using a computer's USB port or an ordinary USB power adapter. Warning. Do not attempt to charge the mount if it's below 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. We will now be attaching the polar scope. The polar scope hole should be flat on the left side. The polar scope itself will also have a corresponding flat side. This allows you to align the polar scope correctly before installing it. The polar scope space will have a screw stored on the bottom. Remove this screw and reinsert it into the hole on the side. Tighten the screw to secure the polar scope. Next, you will want to place the mount on a tripod. If you have this recommended tripod, then first you will want to loosen and push up this screw. Then you will want to place the mount directly on top of it. Once it has been aligned correctly, turn the screw counterclockwise to secure the mount to the tripod. The SkyTracker Pro is flexible enough to be placed on alternative tripods, such as this freely panning camera tripod. In this case, we have removed the bottom of the mount and are attaching the tripod's dovetail directly to the mount. Then we simply place the mount onto the tripod. Next, we will be showing a ball head mounting. Loosen the screws on the mounting base and then remove it. Attach the ball head to the base. Turn clockwise to secure. Reattach the base to the mount. Simply re-tighten the screws to secure it. Depending on what you have, you may require a smaller screw for the ball head. You will want to remove the base from the ball head. Then look at the interior of the base. You should be able to turn the screw counterclockwise until the whole screw separates from the base. After you have separated the screw from the base, simply turn it around the other way, and then reinsert it into the base. Turn clockwise to screw it back in. We will now mount a camera on the ball head. Remove the dovetail base from the ball head. Then attach and screw in the dovetail onto your desired camera. Place the dovetail back onto the ball head and then tighten the knob to secure. When you have set the camera into a desired direction, tighten the two larger knobs to lock the ball head in place. This is what the finished assembly should roughly look like. If the payload is greater than 1.2 kilograms, this separately sold counterweight kit should be used. If you do use it, you should retract the polar scope about 10 millimeters to avoid interference from the counterweight kit. Based on your location, you will want to adjust the altitude and the azimuth of the mount in order to align it with Polaris. To adjust the altitude, Simply turn the knob on the back of the mount. After adjusting, this small white triangle should indicate 
your current latitude. Depending on your latitude, it is possible to reverse the mount to ensure it faces the correct direction and maintain a good center of gravity after adjusting the altitude. To adjust the azimuth, unlock the azimuth blocking knobs. Then turn the two azimuth adjusting knobs. This photo shows all the electronic controls on the mount. The battery status light indicates if the battery is well charged or requires charging. The polar scope illumination adjuster activates and adjusts the amount of light in the polar scope. The tracking speed switch adjusts the tracking speed for solar, lunar, celestial, or half celestial speed. The hemisphere switch should be adjusted depending if you are in the North or Southern Hemisphere. Pressing and holding the RA slew button will slew the RA axis at 180 times speed. Pressing a second time will slew in the other direction. This also shows the polar sighting hole, which will be used to roughly sight Polaris, or Sigma Octantis. When using the polar scope, Place the reticle so that your pole star is centered in the crosshair. However, this method will result in a slight error in alignment with the north or south poles. For greater accuracy, we can use the Ioptron Poloscope app on the iPhone. Simply adjust the mount so that Polaris or Sigma Octantis matches the position of the green dot as shown in the app. For Android users, please refer to the manual for an alternative app.